Week in Fish and Wildlife, sponsored by your local Montana Toyota dealers. Thursday morning time once again for This Week in Fish and Wildlife. Joining us in the studio this morning, Andrea Jones from the Montana Morning. Department of Fish, Wildlife and Parks. Spring is here. Water kind of. is the snow starting to melt in places and we're having to talk about this, some reservoir management, specifically on the Beaverhead Clark Fork uh, or the Clark Canyon uh, Dam down there. Let's talk about what's going to be happening. Right. Well, over the last few years, what's happened is we've had uh, a lot of sediment come down out of Clark uh, Creek Canyon or Clark Canyon Creek mm -hmm. and it's deposited into the beaver head and created some some trouble for the trout leading to declines in fish populations by nearly half wow. of trout mm -hmm. um, and obviously this is a world-renowned fishery there um, and so we had anglers outfitters what have you go to beaver head watershed committee and other groups and say hey, what can we do um, took it up with us and the Bureau of Reclamation um, who handles that output and we decided we could use a solution of having a flushing flow. Uh, we determined this through research, what would it take to get water moving? We did it successfully in 2017. In other words, to basically move that fine sediment, get it mobilized so that it doesn't just sit there and mess with habitat and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So uh, starting today for a few days, there'll be uh, a flushing flow coming out of uh, Clark Canyon uh, Reservoir mm -hmm. and uh, just be aware of that so it's not going to be some place you want to be fishing probably the next couple days. Absolutely but this is ultimately for the fish this is what we're talking about is it yeah, absolutely that, that silt that comes down and and gets uh, deposited it's there. stuck the there dam. and uh, it's it just we need to have enough water to pulse through there to get that sediment moving so that it's not uh, damaging to fish. So folks downstream, especially right below the outlet, I would think uh, they're probably not the best place to be here for the next few days. Not the best place to be, and it wouldn't be good fishing anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so not a good place to be. But this, you know, that that stretch of river is carrying mm -hmm. two to 3,000 fish per, per mile, river mm -hmm. mile. So uh, we want to keep them healthy because mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a great resource for us. So just bear with us until, you know, the, you know we empty that uh, uh, evacuation pond and, and mm -hmm. what have you. Perfect. Uh, staying with the uh, fisheries uh, for a little bit, a uh, uh, reminder that uh, there is a meeting uh, later this morning, uh, the commission meeting talking about the Madison. Yeah, we talked about this last week and obviously, mm -hmm. you know, it's, this is of great concern to a lot of people, uh, good and, you know, some people mm -hmm. rely on the Madison for their mm -hmm. livelihoods and, and whatnot, but we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. What's happening today at the commission is they're just listening to um, what's going to be proposed and asking if we can go to the public with this. The Commission will not be deciding today on any any of the rules in there. They could maybe change some language to take it to the public, but um, this is not something we're not asking for public comment today, but uh, so we we don't want to get too nervous yet. You know, mm -hmm. we don't even know if it's something that mm -hmm. we can ask about or go forward with yet. So we'll learn that today, but then if it does go forward, then the public would certainly have opportunity to comment on any of the rules that are being proposed. So this is just, yes, take it to the public. An endorsement for us to go to the public okay. to get public opinion on it. Andrea Jones from the Montana Department of Fish, Wildlife and Parks. This Week in Fish and Wildlife was sponsored by Toyota. Let's go places.